All right, Locker Nuts, our story continues on this little bit chilly November day. We're back at the unit. This is the unit that I paid 450 bucks at the auction just yesterday. <laughs> Drop the video this morning if you guys watched part one. Great. If you didn't, go back and watch it if you want to. Jana came along with me uh, for the auctions, and we started digging. Found some good stuff already. Not like a whole bunch of good stuff, but we did find gold. We did find silver, and we found some vintage toys in here. A little bit of uh, Pixar Toy Story toys from the mid-90s. That's fun. We like finding that kind of stuff. Um, but we only went through a few boxes. There's quite a bit. All right. Overlook the mattresses. Those will be gone soon. I'm going to list those right now. Hopefully get rid of those quick. There's a couple dressers. Um, other than a few of the bigger uh, furniture items, there's a lot of boxes in here. There's a lot of boxes in here. And uh, my original take I talked about in the last video is that perhaps it was an older lady. Uh, that's just a feeling I got here. We found a lot of stuff from her granddaughter so far. I think those three boxes we went through were all from her granddaughter. So um, that's, the, that's our read anyways, all right? We're really interested to get to the bottom of the story here. What, you know, whose locker was this and what happened to her? We're going to try to find out and share a little bit of that with you if we can, all right? Well, I've got my GoPro, as you saw, um, from the entrance video. And uh, I'm going to get started, all right? And I do plan to take a truckload out of here. I don't have my trailer today, but... I'm going to take a truckload so we can start clearing a little space and get at uh, more of this locker. Let's get started. Man. Oh, man. It's all styrofoam. Ooh, that does open it up though, doesn't it? Very nice. Do you guys like what I've done with the place? I'm already starting to remodel over here in this section. I have a vision I'm working with and it is a uh, minimalist, right? I have a minimalist design plan for this area right here. Less is more, less is more. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nice. A little piece of marble carved out. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. There's like a few nice things usually on top, and then a bunch of junk. So let's see what we got here. B is for beginning. <laughs> From deep in the vaults, Jeff's musical compilation. Uh oh, someone made a mixtape for mixtape for their lady. And we'll watch right here. And we had some really nice watches last week in our auction. They didn't go for very much. That was a good deal. Okay, some photos. Uh, but look at this. We got some keychains. We also do quite well with keychains in our auctions. So I'll we'll be adding these to a keychain lot. And this watch will go to the next watch lot. Even though, like I said, last time we had some really nice watches, they just didn't go for very much money. And if you guys aren't sure what I'm talking about right now, well, we do auctions. I know it probably start, start sounding like an infomercial, but we do auctions every Monday night at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific. Matt Damon. What? Get out. He's even got his own book. Look at that, MTV. Hmm. hmm. It's kind of funny. Blink, Creed, Sugar Ray, Green Day, Dookie. Yeah. All right. Tori Richard, Honolulu. That's kind of cool. The dollar amount's been crossed out. Looks like this is maybe a little custom, custom jobber. There's something in here, guys. Come on, money. Mine. Of or belongs to me. As in, this bag is mine. Alright. Hmm. A lot of schoolwork. A little bit of clues. Right. Zoom waffle. Some Nikes. Camper. 
Huh, this is kind of cool. They almost look like bowling shoes. Doc Martens right here. This is the original. These are leather. They are a little crunchy. And a little stiffened up. I think it's leather. I only say that because usually Doc Martens are leather. Um, they're a little hardened from time, but I know that can be worked and softened. These are actually a decent find, I think. The Doc Martens. Not huge money, but good seller. Bring that out at a flea market or a garage sale, and those will be gone quick. What's this? Ooh. Oh, hello. Jordan Mark. This is a jewelry box, guys, but it doesn't have any jingle jingle. Bummer. It is nice, though. Where there's jewelry boxes, there might be jewelry. We did already find some jewelry, actually, in part one, including the real deal. Found some gold. Just a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver. Enough to make me excited about what else is to come. Frisbee, freestyle, 160 grams. You know, some of these Frisbees are actually worth a little, a little bit of money. Just a little bit. Oh, got some more stuff in here. This is getting kind of fun right here. <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, yes. Look at this. We got some crystals. What's that? A piece of amethyst or something? Oh, this is good. This is good right here. I like finding this stuff. Nice. Look at that. Ooh, that's good. Let's find some more of that. Oh, look at this. And dang, we just missed Halloween too. Oh, that's so funny. It just smells a little musty though. It um it's actually a pretty nice little wig. That's cool. No costume. What's this? Oh, look at this. A little Buddha. I think that's wood. I'm not sure though. It's pretty hard. Oh, look at that. Winnie the Pooh. A little Winnie the Pooh bag. That's kind of nice. Yeah, let's go over here. Get some of this stuff. Oh. <laughs> what? No candy corn? That's actually pretty funny. I think it's funny. I right, got some turkeys here. Harvest time. Let's see some baby clothes. Baby clothes. Baby, baby clothes. Oh, that's going to go right in here. Okay, see how we do it? And this, I'm going to start putting all the photographs in there. That's going back to the owners. Got a big mirror in here. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Right in the middle, see that? It's pretty cool. But the, uh, yeah. That's kind of neat. Oh, this is good. I saw this, you know, we saw this yesterday. Uh, just from the side, I'm like, that's either crafts or toys or something. And they are toys, guys. This is really good, I think. Potentially really good. These are those, uh, so I hear people. Are these the little people? 1986. Geobra. Geobra is the manufacturer. 1986. All right, that's potentially pretty good. I have a feeling it goes with those play sets up there. This is good right here. This I really, really like. Let's find some more of this kind of stuff. Okay, we peeked in this yesterday. Let's take a little bit closer look. So it's a de jure model 500. Pretty cool. We'll look that up and see if it has any value. Otherwise, we'll just bring it to the market, I think. Typically, this isn't the kind of thing we would auction in our live auctions just because it's kind of bulky and hard to ship. But if we do have something that has enough value to make it worthwhile, then we could also do it and just say shipping additional if somebody wants it. It's kind of a neat piece though. Toys. Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. Here's another pirate ship. Look at that. I think those are... They're not matching. They're not the same, but probably the same play line maybe. I see Fisher Price on that one up there. 
Well, maybe not. Let's see, I don't see Fisher Price here. Oh, there it is right there, though. $19.99 Fisher Price. So this doesn't go with those action figures. This is something different. This is something different, but look at this. I see Buzz Lightyear in there. More pirate stuff. Look at this. That's fantastic, really. I don't know about value on those, but those are 20 years old. <laughs> Look at that. It's got suction cups. <laughs> um, that stuff's pretty cool. There's a lot of, to it, too. Okay, yeah, this is the type of guys that go with those right here, these little pirate guys. Can't really make out the year. I think it says 1994, which would be funny because that's what Gianna guessed. She said 1993. That's pretty... Pretty spot on. Okay, so that's a good box right here. More vintage toys, we like that. I mean, I'd definitely rather be finding Star Wars toys and that kind of stuff, but that's okay, it's all fun. This is the burn. Okay, costumes. What's the burn stuff? What the heck's going on here? What happened here? Look at this. This is burned. Oh my goodness. Someone had a fire. Okay, what's this? It doesn't look like anything precious in here, but I could be wrong. It could be silver right there. I'm going to have to take the stuff home and see if I can get a little bit more into it. If there's any gold in here. I don't think there is though. Maybe I won't take it home. Hmm. I mean, it looks like a jewelry box. Looks like it's some photos uh, glued to the top of it. It got burned up. What's the story here, guys? What's the story here? Hospital. Some button or pin for a hospital. These match what's in the box, this, these pieces. Okay, well now I'm really intrigued. Okay, there's a bunch of Wells Fargo. Oh boy. Should wear gloves today. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. It's all burned up. Partially burned up. It's like they salvaged what they could. I don't know why they kept the schoolwork though. Burned up schoolwork. There's another jewelry box in here. Mm -mm. All I see is paper, half burned up paper. It's very bizarre. Definitely adds to the mystery. What exactly has happened here? Oh, right here, look at this. Lily, mementos, fire, checks. Interesting, they, they definitely had a fire. That's a Christmas tree. Right, shimmering spruce slim tree with 350 lights. And parts to the bed here. Okay, this one says Lily's framed photos, which is not good. And art. Not what I want. Yep, okay. That's, that's exactly what it said, isn't it? Framed photos. Okay, and what else did I see? What's this? Oh, look at that sand dollar. That's kind of neat. 1979. Wow, that's neat. That's neat. It's like a label for a um, crate, you know, when there's wood crates or something. That's neat. I'll put those aside. Those are, those are sellable. Another one. Actually, that's cool. Okay, this starting to get sound a little better remote cars that sounds interesting look at that guitar speaker amp and coke bottles cassette tapes piano glove music books okay a little bit better oh. all right what are these gold locks gold lock toys 2001 whoa it's actually got some juice Hmm. 
Got his buddy right here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's pretty sweet right here. Looks like he's missing a cover right here. We got some remotes in here. And then we've got two more cars right here. These don't feel like they're especially high end, but it's Nico, N I K K O. All right. Here's another one. Again, doesn't feel like especially high end. Another Nico, but still kind of cool. Okay, ooh. This one looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? The Commodores. Okay, got some sealed tapes there. You know, I can smell smoke in here too. Like, this has been in a. Could have also been in the fire. I definitely smell smoke. Hamilton music stand. Alright, cool. Hmm. Got a lot more tapes here, including some sealed. Okay. It's interesting. It doesn't really do it for me though. It's just sort of cool. It's Coke bottles. It's not really that anything. Oh, this is a metronome? Is this a metronome? Let's see. Yes. Very nice. I feel like there's another part. There's a weight or something that slides on here to slow it down, right? I know, it's been a while since I've seen one of those. But metronome is for learning music. It keeps a pace. I got a snow globe right here. You see that? I'm not going to take it out, but it's got a piano, a piano thing around there. R&B hits of the 60s, nothing but the blues, Les Miserables, Sound of Music, Family Opera, Ooh, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here, guitar strings, be great to find the guitar in here, ah, custom, that well, looks pretty decent, okay we got a bunch of these here, VHS organizers empty, which is fine. VHSs don't really move anyways, but I think these actually have a little bit of collectability. The I don't know the organizers. I remember hearing something about that, but I don't know if I put too much stock in it. Yeah, look at this, you guys. This is just sitting right there next to the chair. It's uh, unfortunately, it's got a crack in the glass right here, so frame's gonna have to go away, I guess. I don't know, but look at quilt, star, and crescent. It's numbered 119 out of 200, and there's the artist right there, Judy. I don't know what that says. See it? Whatever that says, it's a numbered piece, huh? It sure looks, it looks like paper. But I don't know. Maybe it's something special. I'm gonna put it aside. I'm not gonna rush that to the donation center just quite so fast. I'm gonna lose photos and photo albums for storage. Alright. That's what we see. We got we got a lot of photos here, guys. This is a tremendous amount of photos. Okay, this one over here says the same thing, loose photos. So without moving it, let's just take a peek and see if that is what it is. Yeah, geez, that's a lot of photos. And guess what? Photos are heavy. Photos are heavy. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, I pulled this mattress out. I flipped it over, and unfortunately, oh man, this end is roached. That's just a little dirty there, but this one's kind of chewed up. That's the end that was sitting on the ground. And you can see the, I think that's condensation. I forget what the name of that is, but that's when water's passing through the concrete. So some moisture's being soaked up through the ground and these mattresses are ruined. 
But um, another note, there's three box springs and only really one mattress. So, anywho, that's a bummer. All right, well, that's what it looks like with the mattresses moved over to this side. Uh, still got a little broken glass back there I got to deal with. forgot to bring my broom. I'll do that next time. Because I won't be able to get too much in this load. I just have my truck. But this piece, that looks pretty decent. It looks like you got some little boogers right here, though. Dang. Hmm. A little bit of boogers right there. That's too bad. I would say that's probably at least a hundred bucks, but with those boogers, maybe less. I don't know. Ah, uh, but at least we got tons of boxes to go through, and hopefully, all the photos are over there. <laughs> hopefully, we find more good stuff. There's books. That's not a good start, but I just have a feeling the better stuff is in the back. I might be wrong. I'm hoping the better stuff's back here, like you know, like it was stored first. I see a uh, hall closet right there. See glass has been scratched out though. It does see well hall closet's been scratched out too. I don't really know. E. I think that's Elise. That's one of the granddaughter's names. Uh, and I assume it's a granddaughter. Maybe it's the daughter. I don't know. Alright, let's start digging. Yeah, oh, man. It is a jewelry box. There's just no jewelry. Oh, take it back. Take it back. You do have a little bit of potential right here. This has got something mark on it, but I cannot see that. Oh, that's nice. 